everyone, it's me, Lisa, and today I'm in a bit of a rush, but I couldn't leave before filming a video. Today we're going to talk about this book, Rebel Rose, and how if you liked Beauty and the Beast, you will like this one. So without any further ado, let's get down to the review. <laughs> Okay, so Beauty and the Beast, a classic Disney movie. We have the whole concept of loving what's beyond the simple appearance. We have the whole concept of the kindness of Belle and how much that impacts the Beast and draws Belle to love the beast once the beast is ready to set her free. There is a powerful message that you won't be forced into love but once given the freedom to love there's the possibility to love whoever which is great. And this book Rebel Rose is written by Emma Theriold and it is a spin-off of Beauty and the Beast and this one has the continuation of when two of them get together the royal responsibilities that they are faced with. The book is beautiful because there are important things that mix reality with magic. During Beauty and the Beast we have the course of the witch that she places on the beast and from there the whole story begins and in this story as well Leo is having nightmares and Belle sees the kingdom go to pieces and alongside the kingdom there is the revolution in France and there is a lot of mess up the two of them are going over the kingdom of Avignon and trying to keep it together during the story we have this interesting character called Bastien and what I loved about it is that Beauty and the Beast, so Belle and Leo, love each other throughout the story and this is great because I'm, I don't know, I'm used to too many modern romances where people betray each other all the way through it was so refreshing to see a love that lasts, I love that and also there is a lot of masculinity, toxic masculinity involved with this book because at the time women were not really considered and so Belle has a really hard time making herself heard as she becomes a member of the assembly in her own country. So it's really empowering, there are really interesting moments where some characters are doubted and it's really interesting going through the first person of Belle doubting everyone not being able to know who to trust and it's really really refreshing I won't give any spoilers here but let's say that from the second half there are a lot of interesting elements in the book that lead towards battle and a lot of characters change side and there is a lot of interest in there I really loved it because there is plotting and Belle does use her talent as the kind person that she is to change people's mind about the kingdom and to make them love the kingdom it, it's really great and I thought that the magical element was interesting because it didn't portray the witch as a witch but basically as a spirit that does come only to queens and to suggest queens with things to do uh, to ameliorate the state of their kingdom so I thought that was really great because it was a little different and really cool I really loved that the story is inclusive because more than one character is gay or lesbian and there is this that is very unusual to see in something that talks about the revolution, King Louis XVI and all of that historical part and I think it's very very interesting because it's so true that at the time 
we have those things they were not really talked about but it's so beautiful to see how much there is acceptance for those things in this book so i really think that if you loved beauty and the beast you will love this one because it's sweet it's incredibly diverse and yeah i just loved it it's really about not giving way to appearances once again and trusting one's guts in terms of seeing who we can trust and i just loved it it was really sweet and the fact that it goes on from beauty and the beast allows us to know the characters already so not regretting it at all the cover is a stunner look here it's great with all of the roses and uh, i just love it and it's in partnership, I think, with Disney because being a spin-off, probably they did commission it. It's Autumn Publishing that does publish it. So that's all from me. But I really think that if you did like Beauty and the Beast, you will like this one. So tell me in the comments if you will pick it up because I'm interested to know what you will think about it or if you've read it. So thank you very much for watching. This is a bit shorter of a video than usual but I'm really happy that I made it and I really hope that you will have a great rest of your day you will subscribe like the video if you liked this review and we will see each other in the next one